Well, happy Sunday, my friends. We are coming live at you on YouTube. We're excited to be here. Hope everyone is doing great and having an awesome weekend. Here is a peek at some new goodies that are coming to the shop this week. We are so excited. So excited. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, we have some friends with us. If you are here with us live, go ahead and say hello in the chat box to the right of the video. Let us know where you're from and let us know what your favorite thing is that you're seeing on the screen right now. How about that? Nice. <laughs> Eric and I are going to come up and say hi. How are you doing? Hi. Eric? How are you? I am very tired, but I am very excited. I'm tired too. You though may have definitely outdone me this past week. So you might, you might be allowed to be tired a little bit more than me. Well, I don't know. We've got some amazing things happening personally and professionally. So we had our very successful Black Friday sale and we want to thank you so much for all your support and putting your faith in our company and loving what we do. You guys make such a difference for us. You make going to work every day such a treat. Thank you for being here. and Thank you for buying from us. <laughs> we had a smashing success for a Black Friday sale. And I am very proud of our team because uh, I figured it was going to take us through Monday to get all of the orders out. And... I think they're all out. I think almost all of them were out Thursday. A few more trickled on Friday. And at this point, I think they're all out. Are yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know. I know um, they were getting close to caught up. So yeah. um, we really had to do a lot of extra shifts more than we anticipated um, to, to get through it. But a lot of everybody pulled, pulled in and helped. And yeah. We're keeping staff as low as possible in the office at any given time. So we were doing split shifts. So um, we're trying to keep it at four usually in the office at any given time for shipping. So we would do a shift in the morning and during the day and a shift at night. Randall and I worked probably 30 hours each in shipping this week, which is unusual for us, but it was really fantastic to get in there. Erica, you worked two shifts. You were picking orders and writing love notes and... It was really fun. Um, Mostly QAing, so hopefully nobody has errors in their order because Valerie said, when you sign it, then if there's an error, we'll know it was your fault. <laughs> they know it was you. So I will fess up. There are some some errors in some orders that have come through so far. And you know what? With the volume of orders that we had, it's we try so hard to not make any mistakes. But when you have hundreds upon hundreds of orders, there's bound to be a couple errors in there. But yeah. we take care of you right away. Just write in to us if there's a problem with your order and we will we will fix it immediately. Some of you um, have packages that are traveling around the United States. They are taking a tour. Um, some tracking is not updating. Uh, I think the postage, postage service, the USPS, is struggling right now. So... Hold tight, guys. Just be patient. Just keep checking your tracking numbers. If you see anybody online that is wondering about shipping, just, you know, let them know we got your packages out as quickly as we could, and then it's up to the post office. So we pass the yeah. baton, and we are cheering them on from the sidelines to get you your packages as quickly as possible. And it's <laughs> holiday season now, so... Um the postal service gets overwhelmed at this time of year in general. And then they're having still a lot of extra issues with still trying to pivot with Corona. And so, um, yeah, bless them. Our, I, I feel for our postal worker who comes and gets your packages from us. She got some pretty large truckloads the last week and, um, Bless her. She's so sweet. She's got some health conditions. And so this has been really, really difficult season for her. Um, and we really have a lot of love and respect for her for just mm -hmm. keeping on, keeping on. She's, she's a trooper. So yeah, it's a big yeah. job. If you so saw our live service, thank you. We appreciate what you do. Yeah, we totally do. Um, and honestly, like sometimes I see people get, get a little miffed about the postal service, but working in, in, uh, uh, this business with shipping product for five years now, 
I actually, I, hats off to them. I think they do an amazing job. Like I, almost all packages get where they're supposed to get in a timely fashion. I think it's pretty incredible. So anyway, we've also had some more exciting news. If you missed our Facebook Live from Friday, we broadcast live from Erica's new home. That was really fun. We did. I am not there now, but <laughs> we were there on Friday. Um, my official move isn't until Monday a week. So um, I've got a little bit of packing left to do, like last minute kind of stuff. But I just have a few things that I need to get done over there and a couple of deliveries and a plumber to meet and things like that. So um, we try to like toggle that in between our release this week. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get some fun stuff going after that. So yeah. excited about that. Your house is adorable. I love I it. I'm out there all the time, but there's no furniture. So it's not very comfortable. <laughs> after a little while, you get tired of like, Huh, let me sit on the steps for a little while. Maybe I'll sit in the window for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and then today I went with Randall and Jenny and my dad, and we packed uh, some things up from our current office. We sold off some of our desks because most of the office staff is not working at the office at all, hardly. Uh, so they don't really need desks there. So we got rid of some of those. And then we took some other things over to our new office location, which we probably won't be able to get into until April. But in our current location, we are busting at the seams. The warehouse is completely taking over all of the space as of now. So yeah. offices moved out and warehouse is totally all over <laughs> the Chapel Hill location. So we have one room at our new place where we can put things. So we've set up uh, some things over there. So a little bit of moving happened. So that was today. And now I'm excited to show you some new products that are coming this week. Um, and then I'm going to hit the couch. Yes. I'm really tired. But I've had a great week. So that's a I good thing. I have two more chores that I want to accomplish today. <clears throat> and um. But I, I didn't go, I'm not going anywhere today. I, I ran some errands yesterday and I, I really don't, I'm still really not loving going out in public. <laughs> and yeah. I was in Home Depot yesterday for a little while and like halfway through I started to kind of feel a little anxious. Yeah. Because people just kept getting in my space. Has anyone else mm. had that problem where you're standing there trying to look at something? I was trying to look at toilet seats and this guy just came right up beside me. And so I thought, He's going to grab something and go, right? And he didn't. So I ended up moving and I was standing at the end of the aisle and one of the workers was like, can I help you? I said, I'm just waiting my turn for space <laughs> because he kind of came and got in my space. And then Three I- Three W's, one of them is wait six feet. So that's over there I know. <laughs> on top of me. And I wasn't done. And then I had to wait for him to go away so I could go back and Aww. get what I did yeah. So, and another man I got and moved over and then he came down and I moved over and I, I even made the whole thing. <laughs> like, Erica was getting testy. I was like, um, and he wasn't looking at me. And so I just don't think he was paying any attention, but I was like, bruh, back up. Uh, back off, bruh. I don't know where you been. <laughs> exactly. All right. Let's take a look down at what is happening here so you guys pop the bubbly patterned paper how cool is. is this it is a paper pack that has uh classic designs in it that are going to be great for all occasions but we have a few in there that are new year related and we are all going to be celebrating 2021 so let's yes, celebrate it big. So we have pink champagne. This is our color palette here. So all of our patterned papers are made to coordinate with our ink pads. So this fun sheet is celebrate, let's party. It's a new year, midnight countdown. Just a fun, fun little sheet here. Um, <clears throat> if you were tuning in with us on Friday, you saw a sneak peek of this stamp set but we use the images in here that come in one of the stamp sets and I'll show you that in a minute. So cute. We have this firework pattern, which can be great for New Year's Eve, birthdays, 4th of July, really any kind of celebration. 
And can you guess? Yes, there's a stamp set to go with this. And how is the volume? Can you guys hear okay? So I know sometimes when I'm home, sound is a little bit more of a challenge. I haven't seen anybody say there's a problem just yet, but we'll I'll keep you posted. What's that? Oh, okay. And then if you were on, let's see, where did I post this? On Facebook? This fun wonky dot pattern. So cute. One of our amazing plaids. It's like confetti. What? Oh, this that one? Like confetti, yeah. Yes. The stars. So this is green tea and twilight. And it has a gold and silver feel to it, doesn't it? It's not cool. <clears throat> and then this is really unique. Because it has varying widths of the stripes. And I love this super wide stripe right here. I just thought that was really cool. So of course, this is a slimline size. You can use it on regular A2 size cards as well. And then this sheet with the olives on it. Isn't that fun? Like a little so cute. sheet. So cute. Yeah. So this is our slimline pack. And this coordinates with, are you guys ready for this? So <clears throat> let's see. We have the cocktail party stamp set. And you can tell I have already dived right into this. So we've got different kinds of uh, retro feeling glassware here. So help me out. Margarita glass. Yep. Champagne flute. Yep. This one, what's that called? Um, it's probably, it's a low ball. Okay. And then or a cordial a glass. That one's a low ball. The other one's more like a cordial glass. Okay. This one can be called a rocks glass too, right? Rocks. Well, uh, it's you drink your drink on the rocks. Maybe. Okay. Um, a shaker, a decanter, and this one. That one you could drink champagne out of, but also just other kinds of cocktails like a martini. Yes. How fun is this? And it's two-step stamping. So you do the outline in this, and then you do the patterned stamp on top of it. Isn't this adorable? Yeah, I think you get your sherry in that one glass by your finger. <laughs> your after dinner port. <laughs> All right, and then we have the Sparkle and Pop stamp set. This is a set of firework inspired stamps. They are two step stamping, so you can stamp the smaller ones inside of some of the larger ones and make multicolored designs. I love the shooting stars here. And then this guy here, we've got some stars and little doodads in there. And this is just a really fun element set. And of course, it's great for New Year's Eve. It's great for the 4th of July. And it's great for any time you're throwing a party for one or two or in the future, 25. <laughs> Someday in the future. It's so cute. And then we have the RE Sentiment stamp set. So this is a fun one. Rejoice, refresh, restart, revive, reset, relax, re-energize, renew, happy new year, and then time two. So this would be a fun set for bullet journaling, for card making, for scrapbooking. <clears throat> and then the happy new year die. So cute. Isn't that so pretty? So this is hand lettered by Leslie Dunnigan. And the sample I have here is done with metallic silver embossing glitter. Let's see how pretty that is. <clears throat> Don't forget the Manhattan sequin mix. Manhattan like the city or Manhattan like the drink. You choose. And this coordinates with this paper pack. I don't know if you guys can tell the absolute beauty of this sequin mix. It's so gorgeous. So I hope the, um, video is picking that up. That looks so pretty. 
Love it. All right, so a few card samples. Um, I did these two. So I did a row of the decanters and the shaker and the different glasses. And this reminds me of some of the glassware that my mom had in the 70s. It's so fun. And then just a random background. You could take the Happy New Year die and add it right on top if you want. And then this one is really cute. I die cut the leaves there and just popped them right up on that glass. Little mint on your drink there. A little mint. <coughs> Linda says she's been wanting a fireworks set. This one is a must have, absolutely. Karen, a communion chalice. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, Terry said she she would call that a rocks glass too. I I thought I'd. I I'm obviously not a drinkware expert, but <laughs> I've seen them. I just don't always know what they're called. But here is this is Lisa Harrell. Yes. So she did some of the fireworks behind, and you can see how she layered them with the multicolors. Time to energize. Uh, embossed in white on black, and then the different drinkware glasses. And instead of stamping, she just colored those in with a blender pen. <clears throat> and that's the color she used there. Yeah, really great. This oh, one has the little stick with the ball. That's um, your olive or like a cherry stamp. You depends on how you want to use it. Yeah. So let's look at that one. So. It's this guy right here. So there's the stick and then the little olive, or like Erica said, you can make it a cherry. And it has a little break right there so you can stamp it in the different colors. Not cute. So cute, so cute. And then this one is a gorgeous ink blended background with water technique. And just the, the images white embossed. Cute, <clears throat> she made that one. Did Lisa make that one too? She sure did. Cute. <clears throat> oh, this one color combo. Is this one Daniel's? This color combo. Daydream, oh, sangria, and green tea. Nice. I love this. And this is a one layer card, you guys. So cute. And then same color combination with the fireworks. And these are all one layer cards. Oh, that one's fun. Lots of great ideas. <laughs> okay, and then, <clears throat> let's see, I'm not gonna show you these yet. Let me set these aside. Because, oh. <laughs> what? Through the, the other stick in there is a stir stick, so. Again, just a drink stir stick. Mm -hmm. Whatever color you want. I remember, I think my mom had had like a whole like set, set of these and they were like yep. multicolored. And I think they were like clear and they had like speckles on them. I thought they were so cool. <laughs> okay, then we have some new Slimline products. So... This is going to be its own bundle, Slimline bundle. We have On the Rocks Slimline, and we felt like this pattern mimicked uh, a pattern that you may find on a rocks glass. And this is what it looks like cut out. And I very carefully just kept all of these pieces in, and they haven't fall, fallen out yet. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love this pattern. You guys know I love a cover plate in white on white. So it's gorgeous. And then this one I've been really, really excited about. This is called Circle Squared. Feels very retro to me. So it's gonna cut out like this. And then I took the circles and did like direct to paper on them. So cute. I just inlaid them and isn't that so cute? So, I love that. Thanks. I haven't finished it yet. 
Yeah, that's up my street. I'm having crafting deprivation still. You're having what? Crafting deprivation oh. still. So we also have another essential. So this is a need I need. <laughs> this is called Post This. So it has the outer piece that has the postage stamp border. And then it has another layer that is going to cut a quarter inch smaller. And it has a stitch line all the way around. And then it has this piece that cuts out the circles, but it does not have a blade around the edge. So you can die cut this and it will look like this. And then you can lay this on top of it and cut that out. And then you will have this. And then you can cut out the largest piece. You could also then cut that out of that. <laughs> You can layer this on here. You can do this in a different color and layer this on top of here like that. Lots of different options, but this is three different pieces and two of them have the cut blades around the edge. And this just cuts out the circles. So it's called Post This. And you use it, you're going to want to mail it to someone. <laughs> yes. You're going to want to post it and put it in yep. the box. And then our Circe that comes out in January, January 15th, coordinates with this, with that, this. So just keep that in mind. You're going to be able to use them together. <clears throat> okay. And then who here is a fan of our black tie gala cardstock patterned paper? Mm -hmm. Who's a fan? I am. I love it. <laughs> all right. It all hmm? Sue says she sees a lot of slimline shakers in your future. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right. So for you Black Tie Gala fans, we introduce the little black dress. Slim do, 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 do. paper in white and black patterns. So we have a polka dot. <clears throat> oh, hound's tooth. Holla. I love me some hound's tooth. We've got this fun diamond pattern. Can you guys see that? So cool. So this pack is similar to Black Tie Gala, but some of the scale of the patterns are different. And there are a couple patterns that are different than what we have in Black Tie Gala. And then we have this stripe. We have a chevron. Oh, what? I love is that, that one. one. Is this one your favorite, Erica? It is. It makes me happy. <laughs> it's so awesome. We do not have this one in Black Tie Gala. It's awesome. <laughs> I need this now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we have a wider stripe because you can't get enough of black and white stripes. Am I right? And then we have a diamond pattern. I love this one. And that's it. That's all the patterns, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight patterns. Little black dress. So it's very, very handy, that paper. And I find that you grab it whenever you want a little pop or something. So we've done it in the slimline size so that it will not have to be pieced together because we were doing that before and we decided we needed it slimline size. Yes. Um, so you guys, here is a card made with the post this dies little shaker card. We've got the Vegas baby sequins in here with the pattern paper behind. And then right here, this is a little peek of what I'm going to show you tomorrow. So make sure you tune in on Facebook at noon because I'll show you the other two bundles. We have two smaller bundles 
and I'll share both of those tomorrow. You hear that dog? Yeah, is Eli in there? Yeah, Eli has his little donut, donut stuffed <laughs> animal. Stuffed animal? I guess it's not a stuffed animal if it's a donut. It's a donut. <laughs> his stuffed donut. A plush, a plush donut, a squeaker donut. <laughs> Here's a simple card. Again, I'll show that to you tomorrow. It has the post this edge and then just a piece of pattern paper and boom, you got a card. And if you wanted, you could even like pop a little drink up there. Cute. Or maybe you want a couple of them or maybe you don't, but look, you have options. You wanna add some drinks, go for it. No drinks, no problem. <laughs> and then here is one done with the on the rocks and then the base of the card was cut larger than the die so that's kind of cool and that is metallic silver and she added another one behind wow actually how did she do that do you see that white behind isn't that part of the die she just didn't emboss the whole thing Two, two layers on here. Wow. Two layers. So let's see. I'm going to have to really look at how. I don't know how she did that, you guys. Who made that one? <laughs> it's Lisa. Lisa Harold, where are you? How did you do that? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. And then Happy New Year has just a little strip of paper there with a couple drinks. Cute. So cute. I haven't seen all of these yet. Ooh, so this is like Christmas morning for you. You're like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because when we're in the office and these cards come in, cheers erupt. <laughs> I know. It's been hard. We miss out sometimes now. So sad. Mm -hmm. And then one more A little patterned paper, some of the fireworks stamped in the background and a bunch of drinks. Time to relax. Isn't that cute? Oh, wait a minute. I haven't shown you these either. So this is cool. It just has the paper cut down and then Happy New Year put in there and a couple shoes. Cute. And then another one with um, metallic cord just strung around and a whole bunch of drinks. Aren't these cute. fun? What is your favorite, you guys? Do you have a favorite product that I showed you today? <clears throat> I pretty much think that is that color scheme, guys. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see a couple drinks. So someone's asking about Club Cersei. We do still do Club Cersei every month. Oh, yeah. Um, and... They haven't seen one since the ice skates. We've shown some stuff from the past month, and we'll show some more for next month soon. But this is our upcoming release that comes out next Wednesday, beautiful new year. I think I'll do time to... <laughs> re what? I think reset <laughs> or restart would restart. be good. <laughs> Let's do restart. <laughs> okay. We're losing daylight over here. It gets dark so early. Let me get my scratch paper and make sure. Might need to re-ink this pad. Let's see, do I have Twilight here? Uh-oh. You guys, I don't think I have my Twilight re-inker here. And this... Maybe you need Blackjack? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do Blackjack. Oh, Barbara likes that sentiment set. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. We like it too. Thanks. <laughs> this one isn't inky enough either. 
Anita, the January Club Circe is so adorable. We will be sharing some sneaks of that, um, actually, because um, it's starting the new year and we can't help ourselves. <laughs> Time to, and isn't there a freebie in the next club, Cersei? There's a freebie in December and in January. Yes. Oh my. Yeah. So the freebie in December is only a, a bonus die for clubs, uh, the deluxe subscribers. subscribers. And then in January, everyone gets a uh, extra a die. prize, a Cersei, <laughs> a Cersei in your Cersei. All right, so my daydream ink pad is a little dry. And so Chris, what? Christine's asking when Urban Oasis released. And that was like, I, I want to say October the year before, last year, last year in October. I feel like that's right. Yeah. We did four and four, didn't we? So we did. four came out before that, but the last four, I'm pretty sure was October of last year, 2019. Yes. Oh, Melissa's got her first Club Cersei coming this month, so she's excited. And Dina's asking about the die. Which die, Dina? Is she talking about this one? On the rocks? Mm, maybe circle squared. And then this one is circle squared. Yeah. I feel like I'm in slow motion today. <laughs> <laughs> Time to restart. I have a boo-boo there. We're going to have to cover that up. I'm used to that, though. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and fill in with some of these fun images from here. I wonder, maybe I should add in a couple of the little fireworks. I was going to say, you should use fireworks. Like little ones. Like a couple of the little ones. They're so cute. Look at these guys. So adorable. My goodness. So cute. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to do the little rocks glass. And... I'm going to do the decanter. I'm going to do some little mint leaves. Yes. <laughs> All right. Actually, put the stir stick in there so we can uh, stir it up. <laughs> All right. So, all right. Okay. Decanter is first. We'll do, let's say, blackjack. Even though this was not inky enough, we're going for it. Whichever die Dina was looking for, we we've we showed it to her, so we're good on that. <laughs> okay, great. Um, cranberry fizz, you guys. We sold out of cranberry fizz and deck the halls during our Black Friday sale. And oh, did we? We sure did. Right, pretty soon. Like we we were surprised. I expected to sell out of some things because you never know. It's just inevitable. Um, even though we don't plan to, we always think we have enough stock, but, um, we sold out, uh, and we have more on the way. So they will be restocked the following week. So like a week and a half from now, they'll be restocked. We have a couple other colors that are out of stock too, but they're, they're being made. I think I'll do hot tub. And minis, we sold out of minis. Those are coming. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'll do some mint. I think I need some another one over here. You could do two of the ha! of the little balls or rocks, whatever someone may prefer to call it. <laughs> I will do pink. Pink champagne. Karen's saying when in January are new inks coming? Sister, hold on to your hat. <laughs> <laughs> 
right before my birthday. We're going to celebrate with new inks. So January, middle of January. Yeah. So, so Julie, um, these products are brand new and they will be in the shop next week on Wednesday. So we are previewing the beautiful New Year collection. If you're a Stamp Nation member, you can shop on Tuesday from noon. So you guys, I'm a mess. Look at all of this. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe, what if I do a little stripe at the bottom? A little stripe of patterned paper. Oh, I need, I need to go get my... Um, my paper cutter is not in here. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I think a little piece of patterned paper needs to go down here. What do you guys think? You guys vote. Patterned paper or no patterned paper? Let me grab this paper cutter real quick. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So four, and then maybe just a little three quarters of an inch. So I don't know what you guys voted, but I was doing it anyway. <laughs> we, hadn't, we hadn't even gotten that far. I know. I was just giving you a task because I <laughs> was running out. All right. So I'm going to cover up the little decanter a little bit, but I think it's fine. So did anybody say no patterned paper? Yes. They did? <laughs> yes. Did anybody say yes patterned paper? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is anybody bothered that I'm covering up the bottom of the decanter? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I would pop this with some, with some foam tape. Do you have any foam tape there? Hmm? Do you have any foam tape? Tape? I do have foam tape. Oh, that's twine. I'm like, what's that black thing, Catherine? <laughs> twine, you guys. I'm going to do a little twine. It and looked like a, um, a mini speaker. What? It looked like a little speaker. <laughs> oh, the black twine? Yeah. Oh, funny. Oh, that's cute. So fun. So now I'm excited to stamp with this new stuff. So maybe when I get off live, I'll uh, continue. I don't know. These, these, I love stamps like this, like the two-step and the, the retro feel of them. I just think they are so adorable. I love them. They came out gorgeous. Lisa Kirkbride did an amazing job illustrating those. Yeah. So <clears throat> Lisa Kirkbride is one of our longtime illustrators. Will you tell them the snowman story? Oh, sure. Um, I knew that Lisa lived in a certain area in the north of England, and one of my really good friends also lives in that same city, but it's a bigger city. And so I never thought about them crossing each other's paths at all. Um, but she had posted a picture recently. They're having an art walk where they have, it's a snowman character from a Christmas film and a bunch of different artists painted them. And Lisa painted one with a um, partridge in a pear tree uh, pattern. It's so cute. And she had a picture of it and said it was in this shopping center um, in her town. And so I was talking to my friend and I said to him, Do you know where the Spanish city shopping center is? And he's like, yeah, it's within walking distance of my house. And I was like, really? I said, my friend that I work with that I've never met um, has a snowman art fixture there. And he came back and said, oh my gosh, we just saw that this afternoon. And so I was like, "I ha you have to take a picture if you go back. And then he was very fascinated by who she was. And I told him, and he's seen her artwork all over town. So that's um, amazing. It was so funny. I think he and I were both really excited. And then he sent a picture of him and his little girl um, posing in front of Lisa's snowman. So I was, it made me feel happy. It's such a small world. Totally. That's awesome. We should post a picture on the Insta story of her snowman. That is I so think true. she has posted on hers. So if you guys follow oh, yeah. Lisa Kirkbride on Instagram, you will see the snowman's snowman's 
snowman that she snowman, snowman that she picked. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <clears throat> there, there we go. So, uh, I feel like stamping a couple of these though, just because they are amazing. I don't, I don't think I'll do a whole card, but I just want to show you What's that? The little stars are perfect. It's so cute. So if I have, <clears throat> let's see, this guy, stamp him there. And then I can do, ooh, let's do this one in the middle. <clears throat> How fun is that? I think I need to zoom in. Isn't that so fun? It's so festive. So festive. Another one. Some green tea. This little star wreath. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love stamps like this where just like when you stamp them, you're just like, wow, so cute. They make me happy. Oh, are you hungry? So here oh. is another look at that set. Cute. Sparkle and pop. There. All right, let's come up. So release day is Wednesday. All new products hit the shop at 9 a.m. I know some of you guys are spent from Black Friday shopping and no problem. They will be there when you're ready. Um, but Stamp Nation members get to order first on Tuesday. And we have staff in that afternoon to start working on shipping packages out. So hopefully for those of you that are ready to rock and roll with this stuff, um, you'll be able to make New Year's Eve cards and then tomorrow we have some more products coming for thank you cards and general floral cards so a few, two small small ish bundles and it's gonna be awesome Our and it's just a lot of staple pieces like really great things that you're just gonna be able to pull all year round um when you're making various types of all occasion cards so bessie loves it don't you bessie look at that sweetie is Bessie ready to move? She's hungry. She wants her dinner. <laughs> She's stalking you. <laughs> she is. Yeah, so tomorrow at four, um, no, at noon, we'll be on Facebook showing you the second two bundles. Uh, and then Wednesday at noon, we'll be back here on YouTube creating some more. And we also have some new Canvo products coming out to celebrate the start of a new year, a couple staple items. And then we have some craft essentials also hitting the shop. So we'll be sprinkling those in um, through the next couple of days, showing you everything. And um, so we'll probably be on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yes, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we have a new embossing powder coming out with Wow that I'm really pumped about. So we'll be sharing that as well. Yeah. So pretty. It's so pretty. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today, this afternoon. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take some time for you. Get some stamping in. And we will see you tomorrow at noon on Facebook. All right. Bye, Bye. guys. Have a great night.